Christie's first opened an office in Dubai in 2005. Very early on, we realized that the demand and appetite for art was so strong that in, in 2006, we decided to hold auctions. We decided to focus on Middle Eastern art being the heart and soul of, of, of the region. Sold at 2.30 to you, sir. The team have really made huge strides in holding exhibitions in Kuwait, in Egypt, in Doha, uh, in Abu Dhabi, and, and really uh, visiting those regions regularly, getting to know the art dealers that are based there, and creating around Christie's a formidable community. Since 2006, when Christie's held our inaugural auction, we've sold $220 million worth of art, over 2,500 works by Middle Eastern artists, and we've set over 350 world records for Middle Eastern artists at auction. I mean, we've started with one sale a year, which expanded into two sales a year. Recently, we've split the sale into two parts. Some highlights over the last six years, of course, were the sale of Mahmoud Saeed's whirling dervishes, which sold for $2.6 million, which is currently the highest price ever achieved for any Arab artist at auction. In April 2008, we sold Parviz Tanavali's wall, the Persepolis, which made $2.8 million. It's still the highest price ever achieved for any work by any Middle Eastern artist at auction. The sale of Abdel Nasser Gharam's dome in 2011, which raised close to $900,000 for Edge of Arabia. Please note, ladies and gentlemen, that the artists have donated every single work in this grouping, and all of the proceeds from the sale will go to charity. One thing that's true all over the world is that philanthropists are frequently art collectors and art collectors are frequently philanthropists. So it came as no surprise to us when many of our collectors requested if we could help them to raise funds for the charities in which they were engaged. $52,000 I have, I will take. Thank you very much. Christie's has a strong social responsibility, I think, and it is very important for us to be involved, um, to be able to give back to uh, the local community. So overall, we're very proud that over the last several years, we've actually raised over $20 million for charity in the region. When we first began our sales program, around 90% of the works of art were being sold here in the region to collectors in the region. That's changed radically. Now around 50% of the works that we sell, sell to collectors in Asia, in Europe, and in America. The most thrilling thing of it all is that actually we see so many younger collectors coming in. Young collectors wanting to buy for their first time, they're in their 20s and their 30s, and they're looking to younger artists, artists of their own generation. Over the next three to five years, Chris will continue to expand our presence throughout the Middle East, our activities throughout the Middle East. We'll undertake education initiatives, we look to expand our exhibitions throughout the region. With this incredible investment and development in the, in the museums, so will come many more collectors who are keen to acquire objects and artists that are keen to work here in the region. There'll be an enormous amount of change, of development, of growth here. Christie's will be an integral part of that.